In today's video we are going to discuss the operation of a pressure switch. These are used on jet pumps and will regulate the amount of water in a holding tank. It senses pressure in a holding tank through a pressure sensor that's built into the bottom here. When the pressure in the tank gets low, usually 20 BSI, that indicates that the holding tank is getting low on water. The switch will operate so these contacts here will close that will provide a voltage to the pump and the pump will pump more water into the holding tank once the pressure in the tank rises to usually 40 or 50 pounds the switch will operate like that allowing the contacts to open and it will then remove the power to the pump and the pump will stop pumping water here is the jet pump. Up here we have our pressure gauge. Over here, under this cover, we have our pressure switch. This is just a matter of turning this little nut counterclockwise, <coughs> lefty-loosey, to pick this up and remove this. <coughs> um, be very careful if you're working around this. You should have this <coughs> the power to this pump disconnected, as I do here. Here's our contact here. Definitely would not touch these if I had power connected to this. Let's see they, how they operate. Uh, in this case here, uh, this one is set, I have the one for this house set to 50 PSI. So it should build pressure up to 50 PSI, and then the, the power should be disconnected via the switch and the pump won't run anymore then it'll stay at 50 pounds people use water in the house the gauge will drop and when it hits about 30 the pump should come back on i'm going to plug the pump in and we'll hear the pump operate and you can watch that gauge as it builds up pressure as it pumps water into our blue holding tank and builds up pressure. So basically we're at, let's hit the 50 PSI, and again, show you one more time. Now that the pressure is stabilized, there's our contact open on the pressure switch. So, according to the manual for this jet pump, this big nut right here is called the range nut. And if we want to, it says to increase the pressure that the pump will operate, so you'll have more pressure on for your showers and everything, to turn this nut four complete turns clockwise uh, and that will make the default pressures 30 and 50. Now as we already saw in our video it's already 30 and 50 so we're going to do the opposite. Let's do turn it four complete turns counterclockwise then do our test and uh, then we should be back to the to what the system what the tank was or the uh, jet pump was originally set for, which would have been turn off at 40 PSI and start at 20 PSI. So, there's one, one there, two, three, and four. Now, let's see if that will do our test. I'll run the top and we'll see if our readings are now 20 PSI when the pump turns on and 40 PSI when the pump turns off. So, we got some water running here. Uh, we notice that the pressure gauge is 40 PSI and the pump turns off. I'm going to run some more water and we'll watch that drop.
Should drop to 20 psi, and when the pressure gets down to 20, the jet pump should turn on and pump water into our blue pressure tank. And 20 is down there by my finger. If I had known it was going to take that long to drop, I would have gone to flush the toilet or something. That that drops the hose pressure pretty quick. Get five gallons down the drain in one instant. And there we go. This was approximately 20 psi. Our uh, switch operated, powered the pump, and it's now filling our holding tank with water. And shut off at 40.